Welcome everyone to this video about the new Kingdom Rush update, Undying Fury, which is coming out on October 3rd, so two weeks from now, when, when this video is going up. Um, but yeah, in this video I'm basically going to be going over stuff you might have missed in the trailer, and just some other details we know, everything we know so far, you know, it's going to be in this video, so stick around. Anyway, first we'll start with the trailer, we're going to, I'm going to do a little analysis of this trailer, we're going to... Um, slow it down a bit, you know, be able to see what's going on. So, obviously, we have Bone Heart, the new hero who was confirmed, I think, a couple months ago. Um, very exciting. He is going to be a dark army hero because the lore behind it is that Vesnan's army kind of resurrected him, and that was in Kingdom Rush Vengeance, you know, the ice level where you collect all his bones. That's, you know, that's the explanation for why. Boneheart is on the Dark Army, I guess. Um, but yeah, he's going to be a playable hero. Um, I'm not too sure how he's going to play differently. I think from the gameplay he's got some of the same moves, but I think I saw a bit different in there. But, you know, we can take a look. Um, but yeah, Boneheart coming back is so exciting. There is another hero to look forward to, but we will talk about that, you know, later. But let's just go through the trailer first. So, right here we've got barracks. What they look like. Um... They said there's only one new tower, and that tower isn't this. So what I'm thinking is, I'm not sure if these are like level specific towers, or if these are enemy towers like we saw in Kingdom Rush Vengeance in the Hammerhold campaign. Um, it'll make sense with the kind of, the story of this campaign, which I can explain later, but... You know, I'll go come back to this, but I don't think we're going to be able to use these. I'm not sure. I haven't. I haven't played it. You know, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people have beta tested it, but you know, I haven't. So, but yeah, let's go to the. Obviously, we have Bone Heart, and in we go back to this screenshot. Here is our new tower, the Twilight Longbow, um, which the name you might recognize from King Rush Origins, um, from the Golden Longbow. And also the Twilight Elves, so I think this is kind of like a mix of the two things. Because obviously we had the Twilight Elves who we were against. Um, but now they're, you know, the longbows, so they've sort of got their bow here. Um, I think they're going to be pretty long ranged. Um, but the interesting thing about this tower is that it's also a barracks. As you can see there is a dead unit there and this door's opening. I'm not sure if it's like from level 1 or if it's like, you know, you upgrade it and then you get barracks. But those are going to be like Twilight Harassers from Kingdom Rush Vengeance. So that's very exciting. Um, but another thing about this screenshot is you might notice these guys here um, next to the Necromancer. They are the Weird Woods from Kingdom Rush Origins, who were an artillery tower. But they look slightly different, don't you think? And they, they sort of look like these enemies. So. I don't know, I think these could be enemy towers. I'm not sure if we can see them attacking here, but... Um, I don't think there's anything here in this screenshot, but, you know, they might be an enemy tower, they might not. I'm not sure, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but we have a new enemy here, I don't know what these guys are. Um, but I'm guessing they're ranged, they have bows, so... Um, yeah, and there's, uh, I think that's probably the level 1. Um, the Twilight Longbow, but they don't have barracks at that stage, so yeah, I'm guessing you have to upgrade. Um, but here's an attack of Boneheart. He has his thing where he rains down bones, which is an attack he did in the game, in Frontiers. Uh, but let me have a look at this one again. Um, I think he was just shooting out a, a fireball there, I guess, and there also. Um, and here we actually get to see a little this is uh, probably one of the best shots we have of the n of the new hero, um, which I can talk about later. But they are a gnome witch. Um, they're part of the Lunarian army this time. But I don't think we see much of them in this trailer. Um, yeah, so here you can see the Twilight Harassers coming out of the barracks. We've got more new enemies here, and some like wolflings here. Um, but yeah. Um, Boneheart also doing his, you know, downward attack where he slams himself into the ground. Down here we have two, like, skeletons which look similar to his... I, th I think they're wishbones that he summoned. So, 
you know, that's also a previous move, so, you know, Bone Heart so far has all the same moves. This one is where I'm like, is this the same? Because if you look here, he's shooting out these green orbs from his chest. It looks very similar to the attack where he kind of shoots them out and they travel down the lane, but maybe it's just a different animation, or maybe this is just a different move. Um, and also we have um, a little easter egg here, which I think is the the cat from Alice in Wonderland, I think. Um, but yeah, this this campaign comes out October 3rd very soon. I'm so surprised. I thought it would be like late October, but no, this is, this is great. Anyway, now we're going to look at the, I guess, blog post. The Alliance needs you once again. The once blissful fairy forest now lies shrouded in darkness. Its vibrant green is drained by the horrors of war. In the heart of this haunted realm, a furious elf is weaving his revenge. Okay, so, you know, elves, that is, a lot of this is being pulled from Kingdom Rush Origins. I think the only thing that isn't is Boneheart, who was from Frontiers. Using the most sinister kind of magic, he is summoning an army of dark elves and creatures of the night, intent on striking the Alliance and next the entire kingdom. His scheme must be stopped, General. We cannot allow this terror to spread across the land. For this mission, the Lanarians have summoned Stregi? 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 Um, but they are the a whimsical gnome witch with a fierce love of for her enchanted woods. So yeah, that's who we saw in the trailer. The Dark Army unleashed the fierce bone heart, reanimated by Vesnant's spells, and the Twilight Longbows emerged to lend their bows in aid of their elven kin in this perilous hour. The shadows are gathering, so when your allies for the night is dark, full of terror, so it's very spooky this update, you know, perfect for October. Um, I'm so happy because we didn't really get a, like a Halloween update in Origins, and then we, we got one in Vengeance, but I wasn't a massive fan of the one in Vengeance. I felt like it was just a lot of ghosts and stuff. Um, but here we go Undying Fury features three spooky stages, eight frightening new enemies, one boss, a familiar face returns. So, who could that be? There's. Uh, I'll talk about some theories in a minute, but you know, we don't. I don't think we currently know. One new tower, the Twilight Longbows are back, which they say a back, which makes me raise an eyebrow, because I'm like, have they been in the game before? We've had very similar, I don't know, I don't know if they're trying to say they were in the game previously or not. I'm, I'm not too sure, but... And then two new heroes, um, Stregi and Boneheart, I'm probably mispronouncing the first name, but I don't know. And then five spine-chilling achievements to conquer. So yeah, a lot in this update, and, it, and it's free, you know. Uh, the update and heroes won't be free, I don't think, but, you know, the stages are, as usual. But yeah, let's talk about some theories on who might be coming to this as the boss. You know, we, we know it's an elf. We have Eridan, Eridan, and Arivan. However, I'm not sure if he's an elf. I mean, he's got elf ears, but I don't know if it's stated anywhere. It might be, but, um, you know, he's a good guy. Why would he, why would he have revenge? Uh, but he does have magic, and we know the boss has magic, so it's like, you know, he's reanimating. Katha, doubt it, she's like, seems to be too pure-hearted. We have Regson, who, he was in Kingdom Rush Legends. I don't, I can't see it being him. Uh, I don't know about Lynn, I don't think, just, I don't know if she's an elf. Um, but they're all the heroes, so, you know. So obviously for the bosses, we have a lot of bosses to choose from here, however, a lot of them aren't elves, we bas basically just two. We have Militia and Bajnamin, the Hateful. Um, however, Militia is now a spider goddess, so it's like, I don't know, I can't see her coming back. Um, and Bajnamin, the Hateful. However, they state elf and not twilight elf because um, I think these guys are twilight elves if they're you know purple so is it a twilight elf or is it an elf do you know like but we do know it's someone someone we know someone we know um, if we go back we know it's a he we also know it's a he so it's just, you know it's definitely not militia um, 
So I don't. We don't currently know. I don't think. I don't think there's anything in the trailer. But you know, we'll we'll find out on the day it comes out. But yeah, I do like to believe that maybe these weird wood trees are kind of just like they're corrupted almost because all this level is like the whole thing is like the forest is being corrupted by this dark elf magic um, so I like to believe you know these weird woods aren't working with us or more against us because they've been corrupted and you know they do look evil compared to how they used to so but yeah that's gonna be it for my analysis video uh, let me know if you guys have any theories or stuff I missed in the comments and I guess I'll see you when the Alliance comes out on October 3rd so look out for my let's play on that and I will catch you next time goodbye